Y'all, I start law school in one month. Like, I really start law school in one month. Can y'all believe it? One month. Hey y'all, so I'm back with another video. Today is July 13th and that means one month until my first day of law school. Like, y'all, I really can't believe this is happening. Like, I'm a first generation college student. This is not supposed to be happening to me. But it is because, you know, God has blessed me. But um, I've been taking the summer to prepare not really prepare more like to do nothing because that's what a lot of people say you should do summer before you start law school so I didn't really have a real job um I was working with some kids and I guess that's a job but it wasn't strenuous or anything it was more fun and um I've read a few books but mostly I've just been having a lot of me time a lot of time to sleep um yeah, I haven't really been doing much of anything. I probably should start preparing a little bit more, but I really don't know what to expect on the first day of law school. And that's like what I'm most nervous about. Like, I'm supposed to walk in and do what? It's like worse than the first day of high school, worse than the first day of college. Like, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. And everyone's like, oh yeah, you're gonna have assignments on the first day. And I'm like, but I'm not even gonna know how to do it, so. You know, just pray for me on the first day. Um, we haven't received our exact schedules yet. They said we should get that like the week before school starts during orientation week. So school starts on August 13th and we have orientation August 9th. So around then we should get our schedule. But I mean, every 1L law student has the same classes. We're gonna have torts, civil procedure, you know, the basic stuff. So I'm just, hoping that I don't get an 810 and I don't have Friday classes because if you know me you know I'm not a morning person and you know I don't do Fridays it's just like that's me but um yeah I'm not really excited about those classes I'm more excited about the classes I get to take to L year like the electives um I was looking on like Emory's website and they have like a lot of family law classes and of course that's what I'm interested in so I feel like those classes would be more exciting but um let's see what else am I nervous about we have this Facebook group where we can ask questions and get help from current students and graduates and a lot of people keep asking like oh how many nerds are there like who wants to go play Pokemon Go? I don't want to do that. That's not me. So I hope I, hope I can find some people who act like me. Because <laughs> y'all know, I like to have fun too. Like I'm not going to move to Atlanta and go to law school and just like be suffering. It's not going to happen. Mm, I honestly think going to Emory is going to be a little bit of a culture shock. So after going to Howard for four years and, you know, being surrounded by people all the time that look like me, that have this, not the same thoughts as me, but, you know, we share common mindsets. Um, yeah, going to Emory is going to be a quite a bit of a culture shock. And like with everything that's going on in the world, with the Black Lives Matter and just all these African-American males being murder by law enforcement officers and just the law enforcement officers themselves being murdered it's just like so much going on and i'm gonna actually have to fight for my opinion in this space whereas at howard you know everyone believes that black lives matter but at emory i might have to show people that black lives matter and argue my point um yeah but Although I'm nervous about that, I have received like a sign that I was still going to the right place. Cause if you know Judge Hatchett, she's a TV personality and also a judge, but she's also more importantly, an Emory Law alum. And she will also be the attorney for um, Philando Castile's family um, as they sue for wrongful death. And it's just like, that's a sign to me that you know, although everybody not, might not have that the same mindset that I do, that I'll still be in a safe space. Um, so I really appreciated that sign from Judge Hatchet and God, more importantly. But um, so yeah. Um, let's see. 
going forth I decided I needed to set some goals so my first goal is that I want to get involved um, there's a lot of organizations to get involved mainly I want to get involved with BALSA the Black Law Students Association um, during preview weekend BALSA had like a special weekend for um, African American students and minority students and so I really got to connect with the BALSA and they just spoke about how impactful BALSA was to them and I just feel like they will have that same impact for me um, sorry y'all I wrote down my goals because you know write it down write it in paper and it will happen um, of course I want to be in the top 10 percent in my class like that's every law student's goal otherwise why are you going to law school you know um, I need to also make a schedule and stick with it. That's another one of my goals. Like a lot of people say you should have like a nine to, um, treat law school like a nine to five. And then, yeah, so like probably after the first week, I'll come up with like a schedule, but I'm thinking it'll be like, you know, go to school nine to five, come home, eat, relax, and do maybe nine to midnight because you know, I like to sleep, but that's another goal too to sleep less but um yeah so I just whatever that schedule I decide on I just want to make the schedule and stick with it um my fourth goal would be to keep my sanity and that's another reason why I'm doing this YouTube channel because it's like a way for me to reflect and to remain calm and just remember it's not only about me and the grades that I receive it's helping others and um my last goal is just to do the best that I can do like I've come this far for a reason so I'm just gonna do the best that I can do um, I'll probably have some more goals but yeah I really don't know I guess I want to exercise and eat right all that stuff too because freshman year of, high, of college I gained the freshman 15 although I did lose it I don't know how but um, I don't want to gain the law school of 15 <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to say. Probably not, but... Oh, yeah, I'm moving on um, August... No, July 31st, I'm moving to Atlanta. Well, we're driving down there July 31st. We probably won't make it until August 1st, but um, I'm excited, y'all. Stay tuned for my law school journey.